What's up guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. Grab a seat and strap in, because we're about to have some fun. Now we're almost halfway through this quarantine and honestly, time is a construct and calendars aren't real. I'm just vibing out until this is all over. So I did a video about TikTok quarantines nearing the start of this circuit breaker and now that they were almost halfway through, I figured why not do a progress report to see how these guys are really doing and whether they're coping or have already lost their minds. Now you already know the drill, so let's dive right in. I don't know who needs to hear this, but if there's something you always wanted to do, like learn a new language or read a book, and by the end of Circuit Breaker you have not accomplished that, or even worse, you have not even started, you never lack time. You lack discipline. Time for you to get your shit together and start accomplishing your goals! Wow, I feel personally attacked right now. I mean, telling me to get my shit together, I'm not about to take advice from a TikToker. You know, I have a lot of problems with this because we are in the middle of a pandemic, miss. We are not expected to be productive 24-7. At best, all of us are just trying to just cope with the day-to-day -day situation and really just make it through in one piece. So, I mean, telling people to be productive, that shouldn't be the top priority right now. Also, her final call to action for us to start accomplishing our goals with those crazy eyes is just going to be nightmare fuel for the next few days. Start accomplishing your goals! Anyway guys, listen up. Try your best, but if you're not being productive, this girl's going to come after you. Your goals! It's Jamie Chua. Wait, so she had a nightmare about her bags coming to life and then coming after her? That's not the nightmare I thought she was worried about. Where are the migrant workers rushing into her house? Okay, I really hope you didn't put that hot dog back into the pan, like Everything about that TikTok was just chaotic, like the way he held the hot dogs, the way he dumped it in, and then stirring the pan like that with so much fire. Something's not right. I guess everyone's now at home trying to be a chef and cook their own meals, but I've never seen anyone prepare hot dogs like that. If you do, please comment down below because MasterChef wants to know their location. Okay, he's really brave for showing his face at the end because that was not right. It's fine that he was exercising on his own because we're not supposed to be going outdoors exercising in big groups, but running past a construction barrier, why? I mean, he really just monkey see monkey do and follow his neighbours, but what was he thinking? Clearly he wasn't thinking at all. No thoughts, head empty. Like this is the kind of person that would test the system and flout the rules for just some clout on TikTok. Like that's why we kind of nice things. Actually, come to think of it, this guy is like a textbook example of a covid idiot. Maybe I should make a video on covid idiots of Singapore. Let me know in the comments if you want to see that. I don't know if you guys heard, but we are going to extend our quarantine for like one more month. I have O-levels. Yeah, come to think of it, I'm really glad I'm out of the education system because I cannot imagine studying in the middle of a pandemic especially if it's for a national exam, like it just doesn't pass a vibe check. Can I go to the toilet for a while? Well, so we'll just go la. Thank you miss. Mm. Okay, then my student. Yeah, so clearly home-based learning is not going so well because this guy could leave the online class so easily. I mean, I cannot imagine how teachers are dealing with it right now because it's already difficult enough to deal with a bunch of horny teenagers in a classroom in real life and now they have to deal with all of that on an online class. It's really crazy because back when there was SARS, all I had was just some physical homework and the PCK rap, and now it's just a whole different ball game. Is that a toilet? Okay, this entire TikTok is just unsanitary on all levels. I mean, if there was a health code for home-based learning, this one would have violated all of it. I get that you're trying to cope with the new home-based learning situation, but maybe put your entire setup someplace where it's cleaner and not at the same place where you shit. I mean, have you heard the saying, don't study where you shit? I don't know if that's a saying, but I'm going to make that a saying. I'm going to put it up here. It's a saying now. Please don't study where you shit. Clearly, these guys are not dealing with the circuit breaker so well. Oh, 
Okay, I'm just going to stop there because I have many questions. One, why is a minister on TikTok? Two, why is he dressed like it's National Day? And three, why am I having wartime flashbacks of learning the recorder in primary school? It's just a lot to process. I guess everyone is dealing with the circuit breaker in their own way and this is a time where you're compelled to learn the recorder again. I don't know, I can't explain this. I've no idea where I put my recorder. I've probably disposed of it a long time ago and rightfully so because I've never needed to learn the recorder in any of my adulthood life. Maybe if I were involved in a fight with someone with a potted plant, yes. <laughs> but other than that, I've never had to touch a recorder in any of my adulthood. So, case closed. Okay, so this TikTok has the caption when the government extend the circuit breaker for four more weeks. Uh, hello? What's the objective really? Hey. Oh no! Okay, this cat is really a whole mood because it's basically all of us stuck indoors during circuit breaker and trying to escape. And it's just iconic. <laughs> Why is the middle guy's butt twitching? Okay, that was a lot. I mean, I wish I didn't see that, but now I have, and so have you. So I'm sorry, and I apologize. Like, what were these guys doing in the middle of the corridor, without their tops for one, and not maintaining a safe distance between each other, and doing a very uncomfortable dance that has assaulted my eyes? I don't think I want to talk about this anymore. Let's just pretend this didn't happen and move on. Hey guys, so this is a very simple exercise that anybody can do no matter how old you are and you don't even need equipment, okay? I just showered, but I'm just going to show it to you anyway. It's going to take a minute. It's a very simple exercise. It's going to get you results that you want. Okay, so all you do, right, is very simple. All you need to do is just come over right here and uh, close your eyes and there you go. Oh my god. I think I was supposed to laugh, but I didn't and I hope you didn't as well because that wasn't funny. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> yeah, so I guess now that there's stickers for safe distancing everywhere, it's also a great time to play The Floor is Lava, which is fine as long as you're not blocking the queue or being a public nuisance. Sure, go ahead. I guess it's some form of fitness as well. But honestly, if you ask me, I just want to get through the queue to get the food or groceries I need because it's already tedious enough to be stuck in a queue let alone one that's spaced out this long and far apart. Sure, you do you. What? So, she picks up her husband, drops him by her bedside, and makes him massage her feet? I think this would have been fine, but like, the dude is clearly not into it. Like, look at his face. Yeah, the poor guy, he looks so done, like this was the fifth TikTok he probably had to film with his wife and he's probably so ready for the circuit breaker to be over. At least put on a smile or something because this guy looks like he's being held hostage, like behind the camera, this is probably what he's seeing. Okay, put the perfume. Ah, now massage it. No, don't smile, this is not for you to enjoy, this is for me. So something I noticed during this circuit breaker period. This girl again is that the laundry services in my house has been vastly more efficient. Like the clothes that I wore last night can be washed, dried and folded on my bed. I do not want her to say what I think she's going to say. By today's afternoon. Good job, mom! Ooh, that was not it. I mean, that shouldn't have been the end of the TikTok. I want to see the mom throw hands because her daughter was clearly out of pocket. I mean, what is she trying to do here? First, she talks about being productive during this circuit breaker and accomplishing your goals. Why not try accomplishing your laundry for a start, hmm? Much to think about. I'm honestly speechless, like, let's take a pause right here. First off, right off the bat, suicide is not a joke. Like, 
when I saw this the first time, I was also shocked that the guy kept it on his account because he's a family TikTok account. He features his wife and his kids. And then in the middle of all this, he puts up a TikTok that makes fun of suicide. Now, I didn't expect to talk about something so serious in this video because we already have plenty of problems right now and I'm just here to bring some laughs. But I feel like it's important to talk about mental health and I'm including some useful resources in the description below in case you need it during this period. Now, let's move on to the final TikTok. Okay, I'm very concerned because firstly, I've seen this trend going around with the pillow being the only clothing you wear and I don't want to see what's behind. Okay, give me a minute, I need to recover. Okay, I'm ready. That was a near-death experience. I'm really glad, like, there was some clothing on the back because I don't think I would have recovered if there wasn't. I mean, we already had the guy dropping his towel in my previous video. This is next level. I'll give the dancing a 10 out of 10, but the outfit, I don't want to rate it. Yeah, I don't think I want to. Alright guys, that's it. I'm down to my last brain cell and I'm done with these TikToks. Like some of them are real cringy, but I hope you had some laughs and enjoyed this video. Remember to like and subscribe and comment down below what I should react to next. I'll see you guys in the next episode. Bye!